Hello, hello, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Cusp, Scorpios, Sagittarius, Cross Watchers. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel. I am Tiarica. Love you all. How are you all doing? Okay, so it's time to get some messages for you all for the month of May. We're going to get your overall energy here. We're going to get some messages in regards to uh, timing, divine timing. We're going to see if we can get some physical features of your love interest. Maybe take a look into this love connection for the month of May. I'll get some confessions for you and also um, end it off with some advice, okay? Please know that these will be general messages. They may or may not resonate with all of you beautiful individuals. If you find messages here that resonate, please feel free to take them with you. If you find messages here that does not resonate with you at all, then just please do leave them here on the table to allow someone to pick them up that they will resonate with, okay? All right, so I'm getting your, your overall energy, okay? All right. Now, let's jump in. Let's get started, you all. You have a new chapter here, okay? So there is a fresh start. Fresh starts is always good for everyone. Doors are beginning to open for this new phase within your love life here. So you're ready for a new chapter. You're ready to move into a new chapter when it comes to this thing called, called love here. Okay? Alright, you have patience. Alright? So as you move into this new chapter, you want to make sure that you be patient. Why the rush? There is no need to rush divine timing you have to enjoy the journey because it is worth the wait okay so make sure that you are being patient okay as you move into this new chapter all right you have to make the move um, so the time is now someone is planning to take action or it's time for you to make the move that you are considering all right so it's time for you to make the move okay um the time is now all right and you also have annoyance here okay so you or your partner may be annoyed right now you have to give each other some space to cool off to avoid any more disagree disagreements or arguments here okay all right so let's see y'all let's get some messages in regards to divine timing here all right so you have june june with this being the number two there could you could start to see balance here within this partnership within this connection here June could be a significant month to some of you all. Maybe this person that you are involved with or that you have in your energy um, is connected to the month of June, okay? You also have August here, all right? So this is number 22, which is number four. Four is about structure and stability. So maybe in the month of August, you will start to maybe um, there will be structure and more stability here within this connection. Uh, for some of you, all this person could um, be connected or tied to this month of August here, okay? So now let's get some physical features or see if we can get some physical features of your love interest here, okay? So this person could be very muscular here, um, likes to work out, have, let me see this two, four, six, eight pack here, okay? Um, also, you have facial hair. So your person could have a lot of facial hair, a beard, maybe sideburns, um, um, the beard is connected to the sideburns here. I have a mustache, goatee, whatever the case may be. All right. So now let's see if we could see what is going on between you and your love interest for the month of May. You have the Four of Swords here. This is Libra energy. Someone is in this, in this energy to where they want us to surrender. Maybe I'll uh, pull back here. Maybe there is a need for you to kind of balance your thoughts here. Okay. Um, you also have the Ace of Wands. This is Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy here. Ace is about new beginnings. Um, a fresh new start. Wands is about inspiration, your passion, spark here. It could be in regards to uh, work here or 
a new relationship here okay so someone could be surrendering when it comes to developing something new here but let's keep going okay let's tell us more you have the world card this is capricorn energy so there are some cycles that is ending maybe some things that are coming to an end or need to come to an end in order for there to be new chapters here okay and let's get one more you have the fool here which is aquarius energy all right for some you could be dealing with capricorn capricorn aquarius cusp here okay but with this full energy here this is about new beginnings being open for changes here being open to move into a new direction uh moving into a new journey here okay so let's clarify this energy here all right tell us more about this four of swords here all right the four of swords oh okay all right so there's some planning that needs to take place so you might have to surrender maybe uh balance your thoughts um maybe do something here with the thought with your thought process start to maybe slow down and plan for some things okay all right make some plans now let's look at this ace of wands here you have empty handed so when it comes to something new um, a new relationship or something developing here or this passion or this spark someone is coming maybe empty handed here okay um all right uh, let's see. Let's look more into this world card here. You have shadow work and inner child. Okay, so there needs to be maybe a healing of an inner child or someone needs to do some shadow work in some old cycles from the past in order for there to be a new chapter or new beginnings. Okay, now with this full and this new beginnings here. Oh, there's too many, y'all. That we're going to take this one, all right? You have illusion, okay? So in order to be open to move into a new journey, be open for changes, someone has to come out of uh, certain illusions here, okay? Could be dealing with a Pisces, as Pisces energy, all right? So let's look more into uh, what's going on here with this Four of Swords and its planning. All right, you have taken aim. All right, so they have stepped into their power and taken action towards you. They will not miss the mark this time, okay? So even though, um, well, I guess this is saying you can surrender. Um, this person is taking aim here, okay? They are stepping into their power and they're going to begin to take action towards you, okay? So let's look at this Ace of Wands with the empty handed. Tell us more about this love interest, your love interest. You have coming a part. So meeting you was unexpected. You changed their whole world forever. Feeling of feeling lost as they lose their old identity. Alright, so this person is kind of losing their old identity. You have showed them some things that they were not expected to see here. And this has changed their world. So you might... You know, this is all the more reason why you want to be patient as your person go through uh, like this healing process. Okay, so let's look at the world with the shadow work. Okay, you have hunted here. So their vivid dreams hunt them. They dream of how they broke your heart and you moving on with someone else. All right. So this person could be coming back around. Um there could this could be the reason why there were some things to come to an end here okay um now let's look at the food with the illusion you have broken here so they feel broken inside and don't feel stable enough to trust themselves with your heart at this time that's why you want to be patient here with your person okay this person could be going through some type of emotional healing all right now let's just clarify this energy one more time tell us more about this four of swords planning and taking aim you have clients here so you have to release what no longer serves you or this person is needing to release go through this cleansing process okay so this ace of wands with the empty handed and coming apart you have social media this person is watching you um someone is in this energy of even though if 
you're not hearing from this person or when it comes to the the emotional connection here between you two if they were coming empty-handed when it comes to their emotions um, I'm getting you know someone they're watching you here on the social media even though they may not be uh, speaking here okay or expressing themselves all right so let's look at this roll with the hunted and the shadow work Oops. All right, you have rewrite your love story. There are opportunities here to reconcile love here. Okay, and should I stay? So someone is contemplating here. Should they stay? Should they go? Know that there are opportunities here to reconcile love with this, with your person. Okay, now with this fool and the illusion, there's some trust issues that someone is having, you or your person is having, and... Um, so you got to deal with those, all right? Now let's get some confessions. What do this person want to confess to you for the month of May? They keep hearing songs and it always reminds them of you here. So maybe you all share some, you know, interest in the same music or there is a song here that is reminding this person of you, okay? Also, they keep reading their old text messages, all right? So this person is having a hard time. Someone is having a hard time moving on here, all right? Um, but let's get you all some advice or some messages towards this connection. You have play hard. So you want to find time to laugh, enjoy, goof off, and enjoy your person more, okay? Let's see. Let's get you some more messages in regards to this connection. You have betrayal. So trust this part of your journey that understanding that through pain, this is teaching you and your person to love more deeply and in a higher divine capacity, okay? So you also have detours. So divine intervention delays and detours are taking place at this time, all right? So a healing can pretty much take place, okay? All right, so these are your... These are your messages. I really hope that they will be helpful. Thank you so much for joining me. I salute the divinity in you all. I am sending you all so much love, so much light, so much positivity. I will see you all next time, okay? Bye.